Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out the BeatSkills plugin Slam 2. Now this is a so-called beat fattener that tries to simplify the mastering and processing chain to give you really good results very quickly with as little plugins as possible. So you can do everything in this one, compression, processing, mastering, everything. So before we get started, make sure you like the video, leave us a comment below, let us know what you think, and be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon so you know when we go live with more videos and great deals just like this. All right, everyone. So the installation and interface of BeatSlam is very straightforward. To install this, you're just going to download the file, put it into your VST plugin folder uh, uh, when you run the install, and then you're going to enter your license registration code. So it's all very simple. Now, as you can see, the interface is pretty simple as well. We have some different knobs here. Uh, some of them are self-explanatory. Uh, boom, thump. Those are going to be for the low end. You have the input, the output here, uh, the wet and dry to adjust the signal here as well as heat air so those seem to be the main two those are going to be good for mastering as well as crush pop and then width over here as well as a mid uh, mud cut here so we're going to check out all of these different controls here and use it on a variety of different instruments so I'm going to start off I'm going to play this beat this is just kind of dry, no processing added. And then I've added slam on a lot of the different instruments here, as well as the mastering chain. You're going to hear the differences there. Then we'll go in and isolate the different instruments so you can really hear it uh, in more detail. Alright, so now that you have an idea of what the beat sounds like, we're going to turn on Slam. I'm going to turn everything on at once, um, so it's going to add these different effects to not only the master, but the different individual instruments here. You can see the inserts there on the kick, snare, uh, the zebra bass, or excuse me, the zebra lead, and then the sine wave bass, so it's really going to bring out that bass as well. So let's check that out. All right, so then a really quick A, B with the different inserts on um, with slam, turning on and off slam two. So just look at the buttons here. I'm going to start with it on. I'm going to turn every, excuse me, I'm going to start with it off. And then I'm going to turn everything on so you can hear the differences and kind of A, B them back and forth.
So you can really hear the differences there. I tried to really bring it out in the bass area. So it is pretty extreme in the bass, but I really wanted to, you know, give a good example of how much this can enhance the low end, especially on that low sine wave. You get some, you know, some really powerful sub bass with this. Um, when you turn up the crush as well, it's going to just clip just a little, um, which is actually a desirable effect with some of the modern um, trap beats and everything like that. So let's check out um, just the drums and see what it can do for that. I'm going to A, B them again, just like I did before. So just notice the blue buttons down here. Um, and is when I turn off the insert, sometimes I leave the master on and then turn off the masters. You can hear the differences between everything with slam on the mastering chain as well as inserted on the kick and snare. So that's a much more subtle comparison, um, but you can hear again, it brings out the thump, the low end in the kick, uh, brings the punch out in the snare, as well as um, really just kind of tying everything together nicely. So this is just a quick example of beat skills and what you can use it for. Um, I use presets pretty much across the board if you load these up. Um, so on the lead, I'll use the lead two preset. If you look here, you have presets for bass, beats, keys and synths, and then a master bus preset. So there's a lot to choose from, a lot to start with, and it's really nice because it makes it as simple as possible to get really, um, you know, radio friendly process sounds with compression, everything going on there, um, and just getting it all ready to go in one plugin without having to add separate plugins. So that was a quick look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for more, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.